Hey kids. Okay, so today I'm going to go over how to do some hot air balloons in the sky over a landscape. And I made my whole demo drawing and then I realized I made this portrait and I'm going to be drawing it for you landscape because landscape just looks better in the video. So let me show you from top to bottom. So I have the hot air balloons in the sky. I have them overlapping a little bit, I have different sizes. And then behind it, I have a landscape. Now you could do any landscape you want and you can have a whole lot of fun with making up really cool landscapes. I'm gonna show you something basic. You do it your way. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a hot air balloon where I can see it. So I'm gonna start with a curved line this way and down. I'm gonna think of like a light bulb shape and then this way and down, all right? And then when you close that off, you're gonna have a couple, you know, strings that would hold like, I mean, in reality, they're really thick ropes, but you can't see all that, that holds it to the basket. And then you have a little basket under there. Okay, now for the details of the hot air balloon, they have these indented sections where they are sewn together for the different panels. So you have lines that kind of work their way around the hot air balloon like that. But then, so of course it can be just one color, right? It could also be that each, each of these strips are colors that would look something like, like this one right, where each one is their own color. But if you wanted to have a pattern on it, like let's say stripes across it, you don't wanna just go across the balloon, you wanna kinda of go hop, 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 right from each section. So let's hop, 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 across. And then again, now if you want a wide, section here you'd skip a little bit and down here after this large part the hops are going to be like dips right think like waves up 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 like that and then maybe there's another color here and then something else here and then maybe something else here all right, so let's do another one. So we're gonna have, let's put this one behind it a little bit and make it a little bit smaller. So again, around and down. Let's bring this one over. The good thing about this is if you come down too early, like I did on one of the others, it just becomes one of your sections, no big deal. And then we'll bring these together, connect. Come to the little basket. Okay, now we'll put our, our sewn panels in. All right, now let's say we want the stripes on this one to be diagonal. All right, so we're still going to do the sections, but we're going to work up each time. So we'll go up, 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 up. And then another row here. They're little down here. Oh, I kind of lost my diagonal, but you get the idea. They should go up at the same kind of um, trajectory angle as the last one. 
All right. Now, let's do one more where it's like this, where it's kind of like a zigzag. I'll put this over here. So we'll put this shape in, down to the bottom, this shape in, down to the bottom, close off, basket. I don't even really see that because it's getting so tiny. All right, now if you want this to be a zigzag, you'll go down, up, down, up, down, up. All right, now you'd have a band of color through there. Now if you want another one down here, you just do the same thing. Of course, you can go the other way if you want it to be, you know, the next one starting the opposite. And then you can combo a lot of this stuff together, too. You know, like some of these have some really fun, really intricate patterns. Now, let's talk about your landscape. Again, you can do anything you want with it. I'm going to keep this relatively simple. So I'll put some mountain ranges towards the back. You know what I have in here that I think would be fun for you? I have this bridge over a lake. So I'll do that. So the bridge is part of a, a road. So I have the bridge road part going up and over. And then I have these sections going down into the water. And then on each side, I have like a wall so that you know you don't go off the side of the bridge and then you can just bring this road this way and bring that down to the ground and we'll bring this part of the road this way. And remember, if it gets closer to you, it's it's wider. But if it's further away, it's more narrow. So as we go this way with the road, we want to make sure it gets skinnier. And then what we can do is we can have it just go down over a hill. And then maybe... And it's a shame I'm using such a thick Sharpie because... I mean, I really don't have a lot of, like, you can't see the road here, but you can do it so that your road, you can still color in it. And then maybe if there's another hill here, the road kind of, you know, pops into view there. You see it a little bit more. Now, if this is a river, you might have the river go this way. Actually, that might be a lot of fun. Let's make a river. So same thing, right? The closer parts to you are wider. So you're going to have the narrow part goes under the bridge and then gets wider. Not sure what I want for this bank. Let's leave it like that. All right, now the other thing I did with this was I put some rows of crops. You could have rows of flowers or plants. You can have smaller trees in the distance and you know larger trees in the foreground. 
but you can color it any way you want. You can have a lot of fun playing around with your landscape and adding really cool patterns to your hot air balloons. And I hope you have a lot of fun with this. All right, kiddos, take care.